Big Bear AI is an interesting artificial intelligence company to consider. Big Bear AI stock price has not increased the way other AI stocks have. The company faced some challenges and so that's brought its stock price down. So for investors considering Big Bear AI stock, I wanted to evaluate and consider what's going on with the company. So let's take a look from the CEO's perspective on what's going on with Big Bear AI. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, on August 1st, 2024, the CEO of Big Bear AI elaborated on the latest developments at the company. So the CEO said that we are building a company that helps customers overcome one of the greatest challenges they face when trying to operationalize artificial intelligence. And that is the ability to rapidly adopt and integrate AI powered solutions at the edge. And so we've been hearing a lot about AI in 2024. We started hearing a lot about AI in 2023 when ChatGPT came out and large language models came onto the scene. 2024 has created an enthusiasm for AI and tens of billions of dollars in spending from several companies building AI capabilities. But one of the risks that are rising is investors are asking, when will this AI start to be utilized by consumers and start to generate revenue? There's a lot of free services right now. OpenAI's ChatGPT is mostly free. You can pay for the monthly price and gain access to more features as are other large language models. But the vast majority of artificial intelligence spending has come from enterprises and governments, not yet from consumers. And so investors are asking, eventually this needs to turn into spending from consumers. Otherwise, businesses will not keep spending on AI capabilities if it's not going to turn into spending from consumers, some of which they will spend because it helps them become more productive, get more done with fewer employees. And so they will continue spending for that reason. But in order for it to generate continued exponential growth, we need more consumer applications. We need more consumer facing products of artificial intelligence. So Big Bear AI's latest development called Conductor OS is built to be lightweight and works within any existing infrastructure to rapidly and seamlessly orchestrate sensor data and artificial intelligence models across highly diverse and distributed environments. Now this product will be in general availability in 2025 and Big Bear AI is hoping that will facilitate revenue growth. In its latest quarter, it grew revenue in the low single digits and so investors are not happy with the company's slowing revenue growth. But the company has this new product that could potentially accelerate revenue and create more enthusiasm from investors for Big Bear AI. The company signed a master service agreement with Heathrow Airport and the MSA will allow for a wide range of potential products. The CEO didn't give much detail on the arrangement, didn't give terms such as the revenue, how much the contract was signed for, what was the agreement, what is the length of the agreement. So it seems like this was just an agreement from the two sides to develop the relationship and they'll figure out the details later as to what's going to be the actual revenue number and what's going to be the actual services provided. The CEO goes on to say, we also continue to deliver solutions in customer environments where the timing of awards and revenue can be lumpy, particularly in some of our classified programs. And this is one of the reasons the company's revenue disappointed in the latest quarter they faced some headwinds, which I'll talk about a little bit more. And this caused the company to downgrade the total revenue outlook for the rest of 2024. Speaking of those challenges, the CEO says that they faced several challenges this quarter, particularly around the timing of certain customer awards and regulatory approvals. So the delays of these actions caused the company's revenue outlook to decrease for 2024, they were expecting these to come through and so to generate revenue for the company in 2024. 
Now they no longer think that's the case. Still, there's a chance, there's a probability it will still come in in 2024, the management team said, but the probability decreased enough so that the company lowered their expectations for the year. So they now think it's more likely than not to have this revenue shift out to 2025 or not happen at all, whereas previously they thought it was more likely they would win these contracts and awards and generate revenue from them in 2024. So that was certainly bad news for Big Bear AI stock investors. You don't like to hear of this kind of news. You like to hear of things going smoothly. You like to hear of things like we performed this agreement with our customer in the latest quarter and they liked our service so much that they upped their spending with us and we previously thought we were going to generate a hundred million in revenue this year because the performance has been so good so far we're going to increase that outlook to 115 million in revenue so you like to see company management teams come back and report to investors and say things are going much better than we thought and we are upgrading our forecast for the year we got the opposite from big bear ai ceo saying that things are not going as well as we thought and we're gonna have to decrease what we think we're going to achieve in 2024 so definitely bad news for big bear ai stock investors not something they wanted to hear and so th that adjustment is down to 165 to 180 million. Big Bear AI has been one of the more volatile stocks in the market this year. It experienced a big hype based rally in early 2024 with little tangible fundamental reasons for the stock price increase. You'll notice here the big jump in valuation when measured by the forward price to sales ratio. The company's valuation jumped from around one all the way up to over five. Now I say this was hype based because the company didn't demonstrate a huge increase in revenue or a big increase in cash flow or profitability or a strategic contract negotiation that worked in its favor or a big customer order. There wasn't any fundamental reason for the stock price to pop the way it did. There was, however, a big AI investing frenzy in the beginning of the year where Companies like NVIDIA created a halo effect around all other AI stocks and created a big jump in valuations across the board. Anything with AI in the name or AI in the business model surged and some were justified. Some companies like NVIDIA, I highlighted that it was justified to have a stock price increase because NVIDIA experienced a surge in revenue and profit in cash flow but others were not justified. A company like Big Bear AI or SoundHound AI, I felt were not justified to have that big stock price pop they did in the beginning parts of the year. And if you're a part of the channel, you will have seen the videos I made around that time discussing just what I just told you about here. So I hope this video elaborated a lot more on Big Bear AI and what's going on at the company. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.